several agencies were actually involved in tracking down that prisoner, but the chief tells me that it was officers here at this station that were the ones who made that traffic stop and ended the manhunt. But like you said, I had the chance to talk to that prisoner. He was casual and real laid back in the back of a squad car. And I was about to go turn myself in, man. But tell, tell the police officers, good job, man. Why did you run, man? I never ran. I mean, yeah, I mean, but why didn't you go back to jail when you were let out? I was on my way back to jail now. I mean, that's they f not mine. Nearly 24 hours on the run for 25-year-old Johnny Rogers, accidentally released from jail by an Oakland County Sheriff's deputy Wednesday night. The manhunt came to an end with a traffic stop by Detroit officers near Hubble and West Outer Drive. Rogers laid back when he talked to me on Facebook Live from the back of a squad car. You didn't. What'd no. you do while you were out? Well, when I just got out, I just came to my cousin's house. And like I say, they f you know what I'm saying? So that ain't my fault. We're told that deputy missed a Department of Corrections detainer, keeping him in custody after sentencing for a concealed weapons charge. MDOC officials had been tracking him all day, the chief going over to the squad car and thanking him for his message to me about kids staying in school. He just said it, stay in school. He thanked me. He wants me to get that message out. We also caught up with Roger's mother. She tells us he came to her house and she was the one to tell investigators about this mistake. I am the one who called them to tell them that, okay, somebody made a mistake. He is not supposed to be released. Hello? Rogers was supposed to be in prison for about 7 to 15 years for assault with intent to commit murder. The Oakland County Sheriff's Office says it takes two people to release a prisoner. So right now it's conducting its own investigation. For now, we are live on Detroit's west side. Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. I bet they are investigating and you got to give a lot of credit to his mom. Thank you so much, Aaron, for that live report.